Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Today we would like to discuss Chapter 5 Manufacturing of Weight. In this video is for tutorial session that covers subtopic 5.3 Normal Costing System. For this chapter, you will master in Compute Predetermined of Weight Rate. Refer to the question. Syarikat Sribayu manufactured two types of product, dim and don, at the beginning of 2016. Factory manager provide estimate information such as the following. The first information, estimate for manufacture of heat, 500,000. And then the rest is machine hours, direct labor hours, direct labor cost, material cost, that and production unit is the value of estimation basis. Then, the question required to compute predetermined overhead rate if company use machine hours, direct labor hours, direct labor cost, raw material cost, and production unit. How to compute predetermined overhead rate? We use formula, main estimation, manufacturing overhead should be divided by estimation basis activity. So the answer for A, 2 ringgit and 50 cent per machine hours, B, 5 ringgit per direct labor hours, C, 76.92% direct labor cost, 111.11% direct material cost, the answer for D, and then the last predetermined overhead rate using production unit is 6 ringgit and 67 per unit. The second item that you need to master is compute applied manufacturing overhead refer to the question on september 2016 these are the data found regarding manufacturing costs the question give data for department x department y and department z then the data is on september 2016 it means the data is actual data. Each department use different basis to determine applied overhead. Department X is based on 65% of direct material cost. Then department Y, 95% of direct labor cost. Then department Z is 7 ringgit and 99% per machine hours. Exactly, this question is already given predetermined overhead rate for each department. Department X, 96%. Department Y, 95%. Then, Department Z is 7 ringgit and 99%. Then the, then, the question required to calculate applied overhead for each department. So, the first step, we need to identify basis for each department so for department S 65% of direct material cost is mean department S use direct material cost then for department Y 95% of direct labor cost so department Y use direct labor cost as its basis then for department Z is 7 ringgit 99% per machine hours. So department Z using machine hours as their basis. Second step, you will compute applied manufacturing overhead using formula. Predetermined overhead should be multiply actual activity that we already circle it before this. So, the answer for department X is 91,000. Department Y, 104,500 ringgit. Department Z, 83,096 ringgit. The third item that you need to master for this chapter is Compute over applied or under applied manufacturing overhead. So the question give estimation manufacturing overhead cost 
than actual overhead cost. So the yellow highlight is estimation, then the grey highlight is actual manufacturing cost. Then the table that given is estimation and actual value for specific basis, direct labor cost, direct labor hours, and machine hours. Then question required to calculate over apply or under apply overhead for each basis then prepare journal entry to adjustment at the end of process so the first step you need to compute predetermined overhead rate for each basis so to determine overhead rate we use formula Estimation manufacturing overhead should be divided by estimation basis. So for direct labor cost, 60%, direct labor hours, 6 ringgit and 67 cent per hour. Then for machine hours, is 3 ringgit per hour. Second step, we need to compute applied manufacturing overhead using formula predetermined overhead should be multiplied with actual activity basis. So for direct labor cost, manufacturing overhead applied is 1,260,000 for direct labor hours. 6 ringgit 67 should be multiplied 190,000 hours. Then for machine hours, the total of manufacture applied manufacture over here is one billion one hundred and fifty two thousand. Then we we will compare applied overhead with actual overhead to identify over or under applied. If the MR of applied overhead is bigger than actual overhead, the difference between manufacturing overhead which declare as a over applied. If applied overhead is smaller than actual overhead, the difference we declare as the under applied. Okay, for direct labor cost, amount for applied overhead is bigger than actual overhead so the difference is 80,000 we declare as the over applied manufacturing overhead for direct labor hours the amount applied is bigger than actual overhead so the difference 80,000 87,300 is over applied manufacturing overhead then for the machine hours the amount for applied overhead is smaller than actual overhead so the difference is 28,000 as a under applied manufacturing overhead then for adjustment entry okay for direct labor cost we got the difference as a over applied overhead so the journal entry should be debited manufacturing overhead then credited cost of good so the amount should be debit and credited is the difference between applied overhead and actual overhead for direct labor cost debit manufacturing overhead then credit cost of good so 87,300 then for machine hours the difference we declare as a under applied overhead then adjustment entry should be debited cost of goods sold 28,000 then credited manufacturing overhead 28,000 thank you